before you ask, I, um, I took it off the, I took it off because I did not want it falling at all. So, yeah. Anyways, welcome to bag seven of the set. What's up, YouTubers, one and all? My Tate to E7. We're doing bag seven slash the big bag three. So, here we go. We are officially doing the final stage of the set. The rocket ship. Which is where all these fucking stickers come in. Great. Absolutely wonderful. It's a good thing I started really early. Because I've had to waste time actually building a, or rather rendering a lot of videos just to make sure all of this ends up on time. Ah, great. I should have done what I've done for bag two and, uh, ah, uh, you know what? You know what? They're already mixed together. They're already mixed together. Okay, let's start. Why do we need three in a row? I don't freaking get it. Uh. Also, apparently, as of this video, as of this recording of this video, um, we have a brand new Transformers game to look out, look forward to. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not kidding. We have a brand new Transformers game from the makers of the last two Transformers games. Yay! How much of a disaster this is going to turn out to be. Not really, to be honest. This one actually looks a lot more promising than Earthspark. Because Earthspark was just a single player, one character story that ended up being kind of a flop. And hence, I'm going to be rewriting it for my Earthspark AU. But that's a, that's besides the point. So, really, now you might be thinking like, oh, is that bad? No, because this is apparently a racing slash competitive game. But I don't know if there's going to be a story mode to it. There better be a story mode, especially if they have single player. But the fact that they can do multiplayer is the first multiplayer outright Transform Transformers game from out from outright games. Even though it's only two players for single player for uh, for for uh, multiplayer instead of like Couch Party four. But at least it's multiplayer. I mean, it's something to tie us over and to reactivate because. Well, we're not going to reactivate this year. That is for sure. We're not going to reactivate this year. And we're only getting what we, you know, get on and whatnot. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm building the rocket. This rocket's going to be real big, real fast. Most likely. The good thing is, this is more stable. that look at that that is nice oh my god I just told her get out of the shower I'm about to get mom on her ass anyways uh so yeah I'm trying to finish this up before I start work at least maybe get to opening up devastator at least before work so uh, cross your fingers for that. This thing is going to be real big. What the hell? Oh. Oh, we forgot something. If 
We got this little plate right here. There we go. That's better. Yeah, this is already getting big. Like, I'm amazed. Also, I double checked the um, off screen. I double checked the sizings for the for the uh, for the space station and. Because of the the antenna on the very top, it is confirmed that this set is officially larger or taller than the Garmecha Man. It is officially confirmed the set is larger than a Gara Mecha Man. So, yeah. Round of applause for that. And once again. Taking these. Also, I was listening to some Age of Extinction music. So, yeah, um, it's another way I can celebrate the 10th anniversary. Now, I'm not exactly celebrating it on the 10th anniversary, as I should be, but I did release some videos on it, but it's not based off of... It's not truly Age of Extinction. It doesn't feel like Age of Extinction just yet. And on top of that, I am saving up to start saving for uh, new shelves and whatnot. So, I'm going to say this, that the season finale is still slated to be the uh, Police Station Zombie Defense. Season 3 is still slated to be the... Um, Battleship stuff. But. Now we have an extra build to start off season three. But it, and because I did not specifically say. I don't think I specifically said it yet. That this uh, season three's beginning premiere is the eight. Is this warship stuff. No season three premiere might be something even more crazier than that. Now you might be wondering. What could be more crazier than a freaking, uh, like, changing up your plans and whatnot? Well, there's only one way. And I don't know how to explain this, but I'll just say it. We're going to be building an actual shelf on Let's Build. Yeah. Yeah, an actual shelf. And why are we building a shelf? Well, I need more space. And we're building an adjustable shelf at that. And now adjustable shelf means that we can adjust the shelves and size and whatnot. Of course, there is a drawback to this, is that it's going to take some time. And especially if I'm doing it on video, I cannot do it in the bedroom. So I'm going to have to move my setup to the living room. Which I doubt would work, but only time will tell. Give me a moment. Idiot. Anyways. What was that noise? <sighs> Anywho. So we're almost done with the build. We're almost done with this rocket part. Bag seven of all things. Getting real big real fast. Once again. Man, I just love quoting Mgo, don't I? <laughs> I mean why not? Dare I say why not?
And it's actually tight, though. Like, it's actually sturdy. It's not like... It's not like that thing right there that I'm pointing at. No, this is actually sturdy. I like it. Yep, and there's the top. So now... We have to build... The sides. Yay. I'm gonna put that there for now. Uh, put it in a camera view at least. And what we're gonna do is we need to build the sides. So we need to do this twice. Yay. So we need to do all of this twice that we're about to do right here. TDSC, don't you fucking love it? Then I'm gonna get 40, so might as well just get 8. So, here we go. And also, take these, just like that. Oh, and where am I going to be? Ah, right here. You take that like so. I gotta do the same thing on the other side. Yes, that's what we always gotta do, huh? Repetitive. Yeah, the Creo set is gonna be anything but repetitive. I just wonder if it can actually handle being stacked this high and not have any problems. All the pieces out so there's the end of this step basically the booster is the is the end of uh it, after we finish the booster that's the end of bag seven gotta add six now and then especially one like this so six and then one like this. So really, we gotta do seven. Wow. Wow, great going, guys. What a fun build. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we take four, five, six. And we take this, and we just combine them all together. Alright, they're looking good. And now, 
once again, and it's time for another one of these. And one of these. So, is it the same thing on our side? Second verse, just like the first. Now, we just do... Like that. And we're going to repeat the same thing over here. Just like that. It's kind of looking good, to be honest. Now, we'll just take these combs and these. Also this. And that's it. Like, this is literally it. That is the end. Not the end of this one. I think, yeah, we are all out. We're all out of those pieces. Wow. Okay. Now we just add them on. And finally, we just clip them in. That did not work at all. Okay, that is one clipped in. And here's the other. And look at that. That is an entire thing done, and that is the that that's back seven. That is bag seven right there. So, thank you all for watching. The next bag, we are going to be building the space shuttle. So, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking notifications to be up there in all updates and videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, to all our one.